All right, guys, welcome back to Burner's Vlog. This is Burner. Um, I'm looking here at my new desk, and I got this this uh, heater underneath it, and it works good like that. I did have the heater sit like right here and kind of blowing under it. And I can do this because this is a metal desk, so I ain't got to worry about it like catch on fire or anything. But I had it blowing under, but that just was too far away. I put it underneath directly like that, and it's good, but right here at the top, it's so close to the top that it makes it just too hot right here. It's just way too hot. And uh, I try to turn it upside down and just let or turn it you know on its back here and just lay it down flat and have it blowing straight up that would be like the ultimate way to do it because it would be far enough away but it'd be still in direct line it would heat up the metal my whole table would be nice and warm while I'm working plus some of it would get some of the heat would dissipate out from underneath it and warm my legs and the rest of my body and then some of it would still get out and you know just heat the whole garage everything it'll work awesome if i can do that but i can't it's got a sensor in it and when you tip it it's just a safety sensor when you tip it it you know it just tells it hell no i'm tipped over i ain't catching no carpets on fire and it shuts down but what we're going to do today is something that you shouldn't do and that is disable the safety switch in it and make it to where I can have it tipped over but have it tipped up. So I want to take it out from right there, put it up on the desk. I already got some of the screws out. It's got a bunch of screws in the back. So I got some of the screws out. I'm just heating up the desk right now before I start working on it. And then I'll take the final like five screws out and then we'll uh, open it up and I'll show you uh, what's inside. All right, I probably should have let it cool off a little bit, but I mean, it's not red hot anymore, but it's still hot. But. All right. Damn. zoomed out as I can get right now. This thing's huge. Right there, um, it's connected. So I just kind of got to have it set up like that. Uh, see like the fuse or something down in here and stuff. Uh, there's a fan right here that spins. Blows the air. All right, right here looks like it's the sensor. Right here. So this is the thermostat. Let me zoom in so you guys can see. When I turn the knob in the front, to change the temperature. This weight is supposed to be like in this position when it's standing upright, but right now it's like this because it's telling it uh, it's tipped over. But if I held it up in the right position, when I turn this, you can see these copper contacts. They come into contact again when I turn. So when I when it's out like that, I don't know why it's not focusing. See that gap between there? That's because I got it turned down to the uh, lowest setting, to like the lowest temperature, and it's off right now because obviously it is that low of a temperature. But as you turn this in, it changes the gap 
and now the contacts are touching at about halfway or whatever and if it was to if I was to continue to turn it all the way the contacts are really touching and what would happen is these purple rings right there when it gets hot those things can vary in the distance and everything between those contacts also and it can make the uh, contacts disengage from each other turning it off so the only thing I think that we need to do to remove the safety is this thing this is the only thing I see as a safety so if I just pull this thing off this little it looks like it's uh, crimped on there but if I can if I get this thing off then it should in theory um, not interfere with this anymore and it should just work the thermostat should still work and the safety should just stop disengaging the electric to it so let's see if there's a way I can get this off right there one slice yeah it would have came off like I suspected look in the back it's not all the way like you know sealed around so I could have just pulled that really hard and it what this metal should have popped out of that plastic and I could have left that plastic in there and just took the metal part out the weight but I have a feeling that I'm going to have to cut this whole thing off because this is still going to interfere somewhat. I'm just spinning it around, cutting anything that sticks out. I could touch that. Now that can spin around and it's got clearance from that metal now. There's no way it's getting close to this metal. So now that it doesn't have any influence to the temperature setting or the power at all. So. here yep works even when it's laying down now just make sure it actually puts out heat and it's not just the fan running yep feel heat coming in okay now I got it laid down on the bottom like I want it Somewhat in the middle, but not quite, and I want it away from the wall a little bit. So it goes straight up to the top. Set the thermostat down. Turn it on low. And there we go, guys. And that's how you can uh, remove the safety switch in your heater, if you got this particular heater. Some of them are actually a little ball that 
uh, moves around and it's just different so there you go now I'll have a nice warm table if you guys liked what you've seen like the video share it with your friends subscribe to my channel peace